Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at how to factor special cases of quadratic expressions. Don't forget we have some practice problems at the end of this tutorial for you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. Alright, to get us started, let's take a look at the formulas that are going to be guiding the problem solving process uh, for this presentation. So we're going to be looking at three formulas that can be grouped into two uh, categories. All right. So the first formula is known as a difference of squares. So if you have a square minus B square, so you have two squares and a difference or subtraction operation. When you factor this, it factors into a plus B times a minus B. So basically you take the square root of the first and the last term and express it as the sum and the difference quantities. All right. So this is called the difference, difference of squares. I refer it to as my dose expressions. All right. And then the second one, there are two of them in this category. Um, the first one is a square plus 2ab plus b square. When this is factored, this factors into quantity a plus b square. Okay? And then if you have a square minus 2ab plus b square, this one factors into quantity a minus b square. All right, so the first sign basically tells you the operation that goes between a and b all right if you have plus first you have a plus if you have minus first you have a minus so these two formulas are known as your perfect square trinomials okay these are your perfect square trinomials i refer to them as my psts okay all right, so the examples of the problems that we are going to be looking at are as follows. Let's write down the instructions. We're to determine the type of the type of special case. Um, this type of special case um, each given quadratic belongs to. So it's going to belong to one case or the other. All right, so after determining what special case it belongs to, either difference of squares or perfect square trinomial, you're then going to factor it, then check your answer check your answer all right so uh, let's take a look at the first example so let's say we have the expression for number one um, 16 x square minus 9 all right, so let's start out by determining what type of special case this is. Is this a difference of squares or a perfect square trinomial? Now, if you take a look at this expression that we have here, it's obvious that it's a binomial, right? So since it's a binomial, we automatically can see that it's not a perfect square trinomial. All right, so is this a difference of squares? Let's see if it is a difference of squares. Let's take a look at the terms. So the first term is 16x squared, okay? 16x squared, is that a square? It certainly is a square, right? So 16x squared is a square. Why do we say that? 16x squared is a square because if you take um, 4x and square that, what do you get? 4x squared is 16x squared. So that makes it a square, okay? And then you have a minus in between. That operation is a difference operation. 
and then 9 is that a square it certainly is 9 is a square how do we know, know that 9 is a square 9 is a square since if you take 3 and square it what do you get 3 square is 9 so here we have a difference of squares so the type of special case that we have for this expression is a difference of squares difference of squares okay so we're done with the first part now we are going to factor it so how do you factor difference of squares we just simply use the formula that we highlighted um, earlier so we have 16x squared minus 9 um, so let's write down the formula on top. The formula is a squared, the first time squared, minus b squared, factors into a plus quantity a plus b times a minus b. So if we can find out what a and b's are in this expression, then we can just add and subtract them, put them in quantities, and that will be the answer. All right. So we see a squared is 16x squared. So let's write that down. So a squared, the first term is 16x squared. So if a squared is 16x squared, what is a? Simply take the square root of both sides of the equation, and that will give me a, which is 4x. Okay? What's b? So we know that b squared is 9. So to get b, we simply take the square root of both sides to get rid of that square operation. And then we have b is equal to what? 3. All right. So we're going to write this as sum and a difference. All right. So the factored state of this um, quadratic expression, this difference of squares, is a plus b, 4x plus 3 times a minus b, 4x minus 3. All right, and there goes your answer. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do a check on the side, as indicated in the um, instructions. We need to check to see if our factorization is in fact correct. All right, so we're going to multiply 4x plus 3 by 4x plus 3 and see if we end by 4x minus 3 and see what end up with the original question okay so we're going to follow this out first outer let's do that so 4x times 4x is 16x squared 4x times 3 minus 12x okay first outer inner and then last okay bam bam okay 3 times uh, 4x is positive 12x and then positive 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So we just combine like terms downwards. If we combine it downwards, we're going to have, you notice that the middle terms are opposite, so they add up to 0. So we simply have 16x squared minus 9. And that matches our original question. So our factorization is in fact correct. All right, let's take a look at question number two. Now for number two, let's say we have the expression x squared minus 10x plus 25. Now what kind of special case is this? Is this a difference of squares or a perfect square trinomial? So we can clearly see that there are three terms here. x squared, the quadratic term, 10x, the linear term, and the constant 25. So there are three terms here, so it could be a perfect square trinomial. So how do we know for a certainty that it is, in fact, a perfect square trinomial? We're going to carry out a test, okay? This is the test that you use to determine if it is a perfect square trinomial. If you double the square root of the first term and times the last term so double the first the square root of the first term times the square root of the last term if you end up with the middle term then that 
trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. All right, so let's apply the test here. So the first term is x squared and the last term is 25. Of course, it has to be written in standard form if you want to apply the test, okay? So we're going to double the first term. Uh, which is x do we double the square root of the first term so 2 times the square root of x square times the square root of the last term the constant term which is 25 the question is is this going to be equal to the linear term which is 10x is it forget about the sign here okay it could be plus or minus that does really matter if it's plus or minus it's still a perfect square trinomial all right, so we're going to have 2 times the square root of x squared is just x. The square root of 25 is 5. 2 times x times 5, is it equal to 10x? Let's simplify the left side. 2 times 5 is 10. Is 10x equal to 10x? It certainly is. So we see that it is a perfect square trinomial. All right, so let's write it down. The type of special case that we have here is a perfect square trinomial based on the test that we just conducted. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and factor it. The beauty of perfect square trinomials is you don't necessarily need to use the x gain to factor. Okay, you can use a shortcut. All right, and here is a shortcut. So if you have a perfect square trinomial of the form a square minus 2ab, plus b square, the factored state is simply the square root of the first uh, quantity, the square root of the first term, which is a minus the square root of the last term, b square. End of story. Okay? So how do you apply it here? All you just do is you take the square root of the first term and the last term and bring down the middle sign. If you do that, the square root of x squared is x, minus the square root of 25 is 5 x minus 5 quantity square is the factored state of the original perfect square trinomial expression okay so is our answer correct to determine if our answer is correct we're going to do a check okay per the instructions for this section let's check and see that if we if we expand out our answer do we end up with the original expression so we have quantity x minus 5 square so what it simply means is we're going to multiply two copies of x minus 5 so x minus 5 times x minus 5 all right since you're multiplying two binomials we can just foil it out first outer let's do that first so first x times x is x squared outer x times negative 5 is negative 5 x all right, and then we're going to do inner and then last. So inner x, uh, I'm sorry, negative 5 times x is negative 5x. That's inner and then last. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Bam, bam. All right, so let's go ahead and combine like terms. We combine like terms. We're going to have x squared. Uh, and then combine the linear terms minus 10x and then just bring down the constant term 25. Is this the same as the original question? It certainly is. So that tells us that our answer is in fact correct. x quantity x minus 5 squared is a factored state of x minus 10x plus 25. All right. So here are some practice problems for you to try out. What we're going to have you do is uh, pause the video presentation and solve the four problems here. You're going to determine the type of special case is given quadratic belongs to, and then you factor it and check your work. Alrighty, welcome back. So hopefully you had a chance to try out the four practice problems. So here are the answers to the questions. How well did you do on these problems? Let us know in the comments section below how well you did. If you have any questions, just specify it and I will be more than glad to assist you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget to help support our channel with your likes and comments and subscriptions. 
Tons of support resources can be found at mathgotserved.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.